In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a surface, calculate the volume for verification, and create volume reports. In this exercise, we are on an open field where a parking lot in front of a shop is planned. As part of the preparation of the construction site, the field needs to be leveled out. For this task, we will use the application Volumes to survey the surface and calculate the volume for estimation and for progress tracking. We start in the Home menu. A new project has already been created and a design file of the final parking lot, created by Civil 3D, was imported. We tap on the Volumes application. We see the design file on the map. We open the toolbox and select New Surface. We survey the whole field and store points in a rough regular grid. We tap on OK and give a name in the Save As screen. We tap OK again to finally create and store the surface. Back on the map we see the created surface. To get an overview of the areas for cut and the areas for fill, we calculate the volume of the surface. We open the toolbox and select Calculate Volume. We select the method Surface to Surface. As an existing surface, the Just Measured surface is selected. As a design surface, we choose the imported design file. The calculated volume is shown on the right side. The surface has around 164 cubic meters to cut and 148 cubic meters to fill. Below we tap on the Cut Fill map. The view visualizes the height difference between the selected surfaces. It helps to detect the areas where material needs to be removed from and to where it can be placed instead. A screenshot of the Cut and Fill map will be added to the report later. We tap on OK to close the screen. We tap OK in the Volume Calculation screen, give a name and save it. We tap on the Home button to exit volumes and tap on Reports. From the list we select Volume and tap on OK. Then we select the previously made volume calculation and save the report on a USB stick. This report will be handed over to the construction manager and he will use it to estimate and plan the earthwork for this construction site. Once the work on the field starts and the dozer has leveled out the first part of the parking lot, we will verify the new surface. The same way we did to survey the open field, we will create a surface of the now leveled part of the parking lot. This time we will measure the grid denser to get a more precise picture of the area. We tap on OK in the toolbar name the new surface and finish the creation by tapping OK again. We calculate the volume of the new surface against the design file using the method Surface to Surface. As existing surface we select the newly measured surface. As a design surface we choose the imported design file. The volume result on the right side should be close to zero and the cut fill map is mainly green within a set tolerance for this job of 3 cm. We confirm the work of the dozer is done for this part of the parking lot. We go back to the calculation screen, save the calculation and close the work of today. At the end of the other day, the dozer also leveled out the rest of the parking lot. Like the day before, we create a dense grid by measuring points and we create another surface. We finish the surface creation and give a name. We calculate the volume between the measured surface and the design file the same way we did on day 1.
We generate reports of the two new surfaces. which contain the result of the volume calculation with screenshots in 2D, 3D and of the cut fill map. A look at the second day's report shows that this work can also be confirmed as done. We hand over the reports to the construction manager. The construction site is ready for the following tasks. We will build the curbs on the boundary of the parking lot and layers of gravel and asphalt. That's it. You have learned how to create surfaces, calculate volumes for estimation of earthwork and create reports for documentation of the progress. As a logical next step, you may want to watch the video about creating boundaries and brake lines for finalizing the parking lot.